Hi there, this is Ms. Nowakowski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to do an origami project. We're going to learn how to make a puppy, and you can make a face like this, or if you want, I'll also show you how you can add a body. So we have the face piece here and then the body. And while we're doing origami, we're going to learn all sorts of geometry and things about folding and shapes. If you want to just make the face, all you need is a square piece of paper. And if you want to make the puppy with the body, you need a smaller square and then a larger square. And then also a marker or crayon or pencil crayon to add the face to the puppy. Okay, for today's puppy project, we'll do the face first. And so you take your square piece of paper, turn it so the vertices are pointing up and down. And you just take the bottom corner or point or vertex and you match it up to the one here at the top. And once you have those sides and points all matched up, then you use your fingers and you crease this fold here. So you've taken your square and divided it into two triangles. And we've got a line of symmetry down the middle. Now you turn your triangle so that the vertex is pointing down. And now we're gonna create our puppy ears. So you just sort of estimate where your ears are gonna go, leaving some space in the middle. So I might use my fingers to help. I just fold it down and I just fold it a little bit more so that the puppy's ears are hanging off the bottom there. So you have a little bit of the puppy ear down there and then you do the same on this side. And then again, you crease across here so you've created two triangles for your puppy ears. And there's your puppy face. And then I can just take my pen and add two eyes. And then I do like a little nose here. And then I do a J that way and then a backwards J that way. And add some dots for the little puppies where their little hairs grow out of. Now, if you like, you can fold the bottom up. Just take this point and just fold it under to make more of a face shape. And there's your little puppy head to make the puppy with the body. There's a little head that I've made already. And then you take the larger square and again you fold it from bottom point up to top point. Then you open it up and now you're going to make a kite fold. So you fold this side in, matching it up to that center line carefully and then using your finger to crease that fold. So same thing, I'm taking this outside corner here, folding it in to match up to the center, making sure that this is all matched. And then once I realize it's lined up, then I crease this fold here on the side. And that's my kite fold. And now I'm gonna turn the kite this way, and fold it down. And this is the puppy body. So just like this, it would stand up like this, but we're gonna add a little tail. So I'm going to look at this long edge here and I'm going to estimate about what halfway along is, which is about here, and then go a little bit further. I'm going to put my finger there to mark that spot and I'm going to take the outside corner here and I'm just going to fold it down. Again, you could leave it like this if you want and that could be the puppy's tail, but I will show you a little tricky fold here. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to fold this down, okay, put the triangle down here and then I'm going to hold this and fold it back up and I stay here with it lined up down in the middle and then I'm going to fold it together and there's my little puppy tail and I can bend it up if I want a little bit, add a little bit of a curve to it and it go over my creases and then this will stand up and I can add my little puppy head by opening the flaps and adding it to the top. And there's my little puppy and it can move around. 